It's a funny war, all right, when men who were your enemies a few months before end up marching at your side. But that's what happened behind the lines in Italy when some of the Italian Alpini, among the best mountain soldiers in the world, offered to show us the tricks they'd learned in a lifetime in the Italian Alps. We took them up on it so we could get the local slant on mountaineering to add to the training we'd received back in the States at posts like Camp Hale in Colorado. The fundamentals learned at home still applied in Italy. For instance, the hay burner was still the mountaineer's best friend. Although that hardly looks like what you ought to do to a friend. The infantry in this war have had to be ready for any terrain, from jungles in the South Pacific to snow caps in the Arctic. Now the time had come when the mountains of Italy had to be tackled. For these mountains, which once were just pretty pictures on a postcard, had become fortresses for Hitler's men. Most of the mules only went up halfway, then the going got too tough for them. But the doughboys, the infantry guys who never stopped, kept right on climbing. What turned out to be a tough and intensive course began with the Alpini and their Tyrolean hats and GI jackets giving us a demonstration. To these guys, transporting a mortar across the thousand foot chasm offered no problems at all. It was all ABC stuff to the Italians who passed on a lot of valuable information to us on how to live and fight up there where the air is thin and where a slip is something you only do once. We knew we were watching experts all right when we saw them bring down a casualty from a mountaintop as easily as if they had an elevator installed up there. It was a maneuver, by the way, that came in mighty handy to the medics when we hit the front lines a couple of mountains away. Of course, there was a lot of speculation about these men who'd come over to our side. Maybe they were just trying to climb on the bandwagon. But most of us decided, as we watched them go through their paces, that it was probably just a case of a bunch of guys who'd seen what the terrible years of fascism had done to their country and now wanted to help in every way they could to get rid of it. We had to hand it to the Alpini, who were as agile as mountain goats, going up and down sheer cliff with their climbing ropes. They were men who knew their business, and they were well trained. It looked to us like the Italians were going to be hotter on the business end of a rifle firing at fascism than when they were firing for it. 